This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on redemption of debentures. I wish to solve one very small sum on redemption of debentures. Just observe the sum on the screen which I intend to solve. This is the sum which I wish to solve. On 31st of December 2015, Bright Light Industries showed their accounts. Debenture redemption fund 150,000, which is represented by 1 rupees 150, 1,5% municipal bonds purchased for rupees 150,000. So there is a debenture redemption fund 150,000, debenture redemption fund investment is also 150,000, but the face value of the securities of municipal bond is 151,000. On 28th of February, the company has a balance of 28,000 in the bank account. They paid the they paid into the bank account the proceeds of sale of foregoing investment 150,500. So there was a bank balance of 28,000. The proceeds of this investment is 150,500. Very important point. Which investment? This investment. Its proceeds are 150,500. When these investments are sold? 28th of February. After how many months? From 31st of December to 28th of, 28th of February? After two months. So this sales proceeds is a cum interest sales proceeds. Is a cum interest sales proceeds. And when you sell the investment, you receive, inv you receive interest till the date of sale. For starting from bid date, starting from last date of interest. So this 150,500 is a sales process which includes interest element. That's an important point. On 1st of March 2016, the debentures of value 150,000 were paid. You are required to prepare debenture redemption fund account and debenture redemption fund investment account. In the books of the company, calculations are to be made in nearest rupees. So this is the debenture redemption fund account. This is the investment account. Opening balance in fund account is 150,000. Opening balance here also 150,000. Now this debenture sale of investment 150,500. When we sell investment, we receive in cash not only the ex interest sales proceeds but also interest till the date of sale till the date of sale starting from bid date starting from last date of interest so here two months interest will be calculated face value 151000 like 5% 5 into 2 by 12 so 1258 is a two months interest so X interest sales proceeds works out to be 149,250. So bank account debit to debenture redemption fund account. Interest on sinking fund investment. That is to be credited to sinking fund account. So interest on this investment will be credited to debenture redemption fund account in sinking fund account. To investment account credit 149,250. So Debenture redemption fund account is credited with two months interest and the net sales proceeds are credited to investment account. And the difference between these two is loss. And that loss, loss on sale of investment that will be transferred to debenture redemption fund account. So debenture redemption fund account debit to debenture redemption fund investment account credit. This is how this Investment account gets closed and the debentures are already redeemed. We are not required to write the entries or prepare ledger account for redemption of debentures because it has not been questioned to us. But the balance of this debenture redemption fund account that will be transferred to general reserve that you know very well. So debenture redemption fund account debit to general reserve account credit. So 150,500 will be transferred to general reserve. This is how this small sum is being explained to you. I have tried to explain the important point of this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.